What's going on everybody? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 5 iPhone features you might not know about for iOS 14. You're now able to cycle through your home screen pages faster than ever. You can now tap and hold on the page dots and just slide your finger like this, and you could rapidly cycle through all your home screen pages just like that. It's especially useful if you want to get to the last page on your home screen or the first page on your home screen very quickly. If you're several layers deep in the iOS menu system, you now have the ability to tap and hold on the back button and then you'll be presented with a list of all the menus that you've gone through so far. You could easily release your finger on any of the menus to get back to whichever option you wanted to. So you could go all the way back out to the first menu like I just did, or you could go to any of the menus that you've you know gone through so far easily with that continuous swipe gesture. You can now configure your iPhone to perform commands when you double tap or triple tap the back of your iPhone. For instance, I have it set so when I triple tap the back of my iPhone, it opens up the app switcher, as you can see right there. I also have it set so when I double tap the back of it, it goes to the home screen, as you can see right there. And to configure this, you want to head over to settings, accessibility, touch, and then scroll down to the bottom until you see back tap. And here you can configure the double tap and triple tap commands. Again, there's a variety of commands that you can configure for both. You can now change your default web browser to something other than Safari, for example, Chrome, or any other approved web browser. To do this, go into the settings for the browser, and then go into default browser app, and just change it from Safari to whichever browser, in this case Chrome. So now whenever you click on links, it will take you to your web browser of choice instead of Safari, as you can see. You now have the ability to add captions to photos, so just open up any photo and then slide up, and then as you can see, you can add a caption just like this, and then press done. So now, whenever you swipe up on any photo, that you captioned, you will see the caption. But all right, everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Those are just a few iOS 14 features that kind of fly under the radar that are very useful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.